Hi everyone, just a short video today. I thought that I would just try to help people out with the with the T-Force RGB RAM problem. Um, for a lot of people I've noticed that it doesn't show up in their MSI Dragon Center or, or it just plays up with whatever other software they tried. So I had the same problem and finally um, I was able to fix it by using uh, Aura Sync in Asus Armory Crate. Now I hope to God that it helps um, at least one other person because for some people it's not a big deal but things like this can just ruin your whole gaming experience uh, or you, you just it can be extremely irritating so here we go so what you want to do is download Asus Armory Crate then go into it and click on as you can see where the red icon is there that's the one you want that's Aura Sync now on your Sync devices your devices obviously should show up here so you want to you want to hope that your memory shows up which is another problem that a lot of people have very frustrating um, then click obviously on aura effects i'll use static for this example click on the color so as you can see i've got it on yellow for my for my setup because it's what i like let's just click blue works green works and red works so just to show you that aura sync um, can work with this rgb ram and i hope that it helps at least one of you we'll see what happens please let me know in your comments if you're able to fix it because it would make me happy knowing that i helped at least one person but yeah I've tried a few other different softwares and none of them worked I've had other softwares where it would just stay in the in the color that I choose for like two seconds and then revert back to another color or you know it's really annoying when no software worked for it at all it would just stay in a rainbow mode extremely infuriating but as you can see now I've managed to keep it uh, working with um, with Aura Sync and now if you if you turn on your computer one day and find out that your memory isn't showing up in your Aura Sync if you want to change your colors or whatever all I did guys was as annoying it as it was is just I reinstalled it and um, I've turned off my computer and turned it on again a few times just to see um if i would have a pro that problem uh a lot and i haven't yet of I've, I've been okay so i really hope that the same happens for you guys um best of luck and please if it helped you leave a comment let me know and smash the like button and yeah thank you very much guys best of luck